show you diagonal pattern of unsealed corners on every directional slope on this river. You see the debris up underneath the shingle? Like that. But you can see that wet, glossy appearance of the uh, self cylinder strip cohesive seal. That shingle never adhered to, from the get go. Yeah, I mean, these are still, they're unsealed. The corners are unsealed. Debris moves across these roofing systems all the time. You know, it's gonna move debris, you know, around these edges, around the corners, around the stagnation region. Debris is gonna get up underneath there, but it doesn't mean that it blocks the self cylinder strip and causes it to deactivate. If it was activated from the get-go and it was adhered, wouldn't have an opportunity. But you can see debris, uh, you know, pollen, dirt, grime, you know, you name it, it's underneath that shingle. There's none of them crease. You know, wind strong enough to pull this back, it's going to crease this corner, you know, over time, or you're going to see, you know, displacement of granules. You're going to see shingles left in a damaged position. You're going to see some other signs of physical evidence. The hip ridge, no damage. Ridge cap, no damage. I can go on every directional slope and show you guys the diagonal pattern of unsealed laps. Every directional slope. I do these all, every day, all day. Almost every roofing system I get on has unsealed corners. The fact that we just all argue that this is wind just baffles me. But, I mean, to a point, I get it. You know, if you're trying to go up on a roofing system and explain something, you know, I get where, you know, the argument comes in, but it's not on every directional slope. There's debris. You can see there's hardly any self sealant right there. These manufacturers, when, they, when they're doing their products, running them down the assembly line, some of their machines, you know, they, they all do different patterns. Some do discontinuous uh, self sealant strips, cohesive seal. Some, you know, are just continuous. Some of their patterns are different. Some of the width and thickness is different. You know, obviously you've got, you know, you know, even from seven, eight years ago when they came out with the SureNail technology and you know just better at more adhered systems more adhered products you know they get it wrong they're not going to stop that assembly line and take all that product off they're going to ship it out they don't know they don't know this ain't going to activate during the install it has nothing to do with wind you can see there's hardly any self sandwich strip here it's just debris right there there's no self sandwich strip hardly right there along that corner what's it what's going to adhere this shingle you know, and I'm going every directional slope. You know, I, I'm going behind the chimney. I'm going to that lower, you know, underneath those skylights. I'm going every, I can go in the spots where, you know, wind's not going to penetrate as much. It's, it's everywhere. I see this every single day on these roofing systems. You don't have any self sound strip here. And it starts right there, but you can see the, the appearance of it. It never adhered. All these corners or unsealed. I didn't pull that up. That was stuck by this butt edge of this next shingle. You know? Look, unsealed. Unsealed. What do you want to do? You want to grab a, let me grab a random one? I'll watch. I'll pick. I ain't got nothing marked off. Go down here by this pipe. I'm going to grab right in here. I, I haven't checked them. Grab right in here. I guarantee his quarters unsealed. Bam! 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 I mean, my gosh. The fact that we argue that this is when I'm saying I'm dead serious, it baffled me. But, you know, I guess if I was on the other side and I went up on somebody's roof and I was looking for something, you know, maybe. I and mean, maybe if I got it approved a couple times, maybe. But when you look at them every single day and you're not really looking for stuff, I mean, you're looking for physical stuff that stands out creasing mist left in a damaged position just some type of evidence of it but when you just can go around on every slope and lift corners up i mean just logical you, know, you see debris underneath the shingle but you can see that self sealing strip that's got that glossy wet appearance it never adhered and it's not even that much how's that going to adhere you know here it is again well, when we find a random spot on this slope i'll go lower Pick a random spot. Give me pick. Right in here. Unseal. 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 I do it all day, every day.